body of mitochondria. Mitochondria are like slaves. Mitochondria have their own DNA. And they reproduce inside the cell and they have their own way of doing things. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what mitochondria look like. Okay, the basic idea is they have these two membranes, okay, an inner and an outer membrane. And let's imagine, let's imagine I'm drinking this. Let's imagine you have like a large Ziploc bag. This one is for tortillas. And let's imagine you have a smaller, yes, Ziploc bag, okay? So what's gonna happen is this is the small Ziploc bag. It's the outer envelope. And then you have a larger Ziploc bag that's the inner envelope. So we put the big Ziploc bag inside the little Ziploc bag. This is the way to think about it, okay? More space on the membrane that's inside than on the membrane that's outside, okay? Now, so we've got outer, and we've got inner, okay? And inside the inner part, in the very middle part of it, this is known as the matrix, you're going to find DNA, you're also going to find ribosome which means that these things are basically like they're their own little cells that are inside your cells. The same way that like humans have trained dogs to like hang out with us and like hunt down our prey and like guard our households. In the same way that chloroplasts were recruited to do the photosynthesis, these guys are recruited to do uh, the production of ATP. Let's talk a little bit about ATP. ATP is the basic energy containing molecule of the cells. <laughs> Phone call. Who's calling, Who's calling me? Okay, so the basic idea is that ATP is what your cell uses in order to accomplish all the different things that are happening. Okay, anytime your muscles work or anytime that you think about something really hard, you're going to be using ATP. ATP is short for adenosine triphosphate. Okay, and when you use it, it turns into a DP, which is short, okay, I'm left handed, I'm not, I'm right handed, okay, I'm not left handed. That's short for adenosine diphosphate, which means it has two phosphate groups. Are you getting all of this, BJ? Hello? So, the basic idea is, uh, when this happens, this is like a battery that's been used up, and this is a battery that's all charged up. So we want to get these batteries recharged up, back to being ATP, and this is what mitochondria helps out. I'm going to put you on speaker now, okay? Okay. All right. The cell eats sugar. You really want a lot of sugar, don't we all? Mm. Sugar gets broken down into pyruvate. And pyruvate gets transferred into the middle of the mitochondria, okay? And what the mitochondria is going to do is it's going to break down the pyruvate. Over the course of it being broken down, it's going to produce all these, like, high-energy electrons. We're going to zoom in. Right now, I'm just one chunk of this, okay? Good boy. Yeah. Okay, so what's happening here is we've got the pyruvate is going in here, and it's going to pass all of its electrons into various proteins. These guys are proteins set in this inner membrane. Into this, it's sort of like a game of pass the parcel. You're like, I have this really energetic electron. Ah, it's really hot. I gotta pass it on to the next guy. As they pass it on to the next guy, they're going to pump hydrogen out. Okay, so hydrogen goes from being inside the matrix to being inside the intermembrane space. Okay, when it's in the intermembrane space, it builds up a gradient there. And this is where it becomes really useful. Once you get to the point where you have a lot of positively charged particles in the inner membrane space, okay, they're going to want to get back into the matrix. The whole point is that as they get into the matrix, every time they go into the matrix, they run through something called an ATP pump, which works just like a water wheel does. Okay, So water comes in, and as it goes down the hill, makes the water wheel spin, okay? 
then the same thing is happening in the mitochondria because every time that one of these hydrogens that got pumped out, and when they want to come back in, they have to go through one of these pumps. And every time that you pump a hydrogen in, you turn one of these ADPs back into ATP. So it recharges it. If you don't have these mitochondria around, it means that the only energy you can get is from breaking down glucose, okay? And that's not really that, that's not that effective, okay? If you really want to get energy out of it, you've got to use these guys. If you've got these mitochondria working away, okay, you need to have a lot of oxygen, okay? Because oxygen is what's going to be ready at the end of this cycle, okay? It's passing the parcel, it's passing the parcel. It's got to pass that electron onto some oxygen in order for it to work. If you don't have oxygen, then these mitochondria can't work, and they can't make any more power for the cell. If they can't make any more power for the cell, then the cell's not going to have enough power to work, okay? And that's where your muscles are going to stop working. Your heart is going to have a heart attack because it doesn't have enough oxygen being supplied to it. Or you're going to have a stroke because your brain cells aren't getting enough oxygen to make these mitochondria work. Brain cells use an enormous amount of energy. It's really hard to think hard about stuff. I don't know if you know that, but it, it uses as much energy to like think really, really hard. Like a grandmaster chess player at a tournament will use as much energy as somebody who's like running a race, just sitting there thinking really hard. Think about how hot your computer gets, okay? Think about how much energy your computer uses. It's the same problem with your head. Anyway, mitochondria are the way that we're able to make as much energy for ourselves as we could. If we didn't have mitochondria, we would not be able to make nearly as much energy, and we just kind of have to sit around on the couch all day, and we wouldn't have the option of getting around and running around. Because it's when you get around and run around that you really have your maximal potential realized as, like, human being and stuff. Okay. Anyway. That's mitochondria.